Um, Gary got the first goal, of course, Hazard got the second. Um, both of his last two Stamford Bridge goals, I'm sure you're aware now, have won titles. One for Chelsea a year ago this week, and then uh, one day short of a year later, the one that won Leicester the title. But, I mean, he looked like Hazard. Well, well, I've he looked like Hazard. Do you remember my old thing? I've been saying time and time again, I've said it about a lot of players, Willie and whatever. Get the ball, turn around and go that way. Go forward immediately and then think about what you're going to do. And when Eden Hazard does that, he's bordering on unstoppable. And it's that positivity he showed right from the start. And it, it takes players out of the game, gets the ball, right, play it forward and move. Play and move. The amount of players he takes out of the play here, by passing that across there, leads to a great chance. Now that was a great pass there. Once again, I'm just going to post it there for a second. You've just lost two players there because you've got the ball turned and moved forward. Taking two out of it, now the defence are in a big difficult position what do they do now he gets there in a position and I felt quite sorry for him here because the ball comes in well it doesn't come in and that's the difficulty he's got he's shouting for it he's in the area there look he's not offside either just need that little pass played in there if it goes in there I think Eden Hazard actually gets a goal but he was looking at that for the moment he came on at half time he looks pretty he's gutted you can see him running out of shot there, totally and utterly gutted. Once again, get the ball here. Now have a look, he's got two players in front of him there, and what I'm saying, go forward, go and ask a question, and when you do that, you take people out of the game. But you've got two players, you've got Rose and you've got Ericsson. Well, they're out of the game now. You've just played it through a whole bunch of players there. Just burst through them You've as just well. taken three more players out of the game behind you there. So you've basically taken five players out of the game by a positivity and a direct run. And if that ball's played in there, onto his feet because of that momentum that he's got I think he takes it through and scores I think we can all see that there's a big gap there and he's going to get into it it's a shame that's millimetres away from being the right ball but his attitude right from the start was great again play the ball and move <coughs> that's exactly what he does plays it and move finds himself in a great position look at Cesc I think I can spot that is a genius ball there mm -hmm. and once again in a great position ball's played to him here now that position there, you've actually got two players in the way there. Now, this play and move thing I always talk about, you learn it in training. What you do is, it's a simple thing. If I don't play the ball and move forward, it's a foul against me. And it gets you into the habit of doing that. I suspect we've been doing it in training again. Playing forward, really positive, plays it into there. Now, when he gets himself into this position, once again, it's exactly the same thing. You've got two players on you. It happened consistently. But if you pass and move and move forward, like he's probably been doing it, almost certainly been doing the training, what happens? You get a whole big bunch of space to run into. And I'm going to shut up where we enjoy that. Wow, what a goal. <laughs> I mean, that's his, to be honest, with the whole build up, the finish, the importance, everything about it, that is as good a goal, I would suggest, as you've seen all season yeah. because of the whole thing that encapsulated it.